Welcome back to the show. The Royal Canadian Air Force celebrates their 100 year anniversary in April of 2024, and they have a lot of exciting things going on around that centennial. Here to tell us more, I am joined by Colonel Maggie Jacula. Jacula, I am sorry, no uh, who is a colonel with the Royal Canadian Air Force. Welcome. It's great Thank to you. have you here. Uh, an exciting time. Let's let's talk about you know one of the reasons, of course, you wanted to celebrate is not just the 100th anniversary, but all of the contributions from all of those people over, over those hundred years. Maggie, tell us more about that. Yeah, thank you so much. So the 1st of April 2024 is the centennial of the RCAF and our intent throughout the year is to celebrate our history and heritage while inspiring future generations of Canadians to take interest in air and space in Canada. And there is, as I said, a lot of history. What what sort of stands out to you when you when you think of the the incredible amount of sacrifice that you know people have people have made within the RCAF? Well, it's hard to choose just one because yeah. there are so many stories from pilots to technicians. Uh, but one of the things that has really inspired me this year is the story of the RCAF Flyers. And for uh, folks in Ottawa who haven't heard of them before, um, it's a hockey team that was comprised of members of the RCAF who fought in. World War II and they came back to Canada and one of the members found out that Canada wasn't going to have a team at the Olympics because the IOC had changed the rules about uh, amateur and pro so they got a team together they went over as the underdogs and they won the Olympic gold medal for Canada so it's so great it's to incredible. be able to share those stories with Canadians and and this I guess is is a part of that celebration right is exactly. this a replica of, of the yes, jersey that's, that's a, pretty idea? much an exact replica but obviously different material in short sleeve of the uh, RCF Flyers jersey uh, from the War Museum and 75 represents that 2023 is the 75th anniversary and that is the jersey for this year's RCF run. Uh, amazing. And speaking of that run, so let's talk about that run. And um, this was also, I guess, um, this medal inspired by that very exactly. story as well, mm -hmm. right? Tell me about the run because it's a virtual run, isn't it? Well, it's a bit of a combo. So okay. there definitely is the opportunity for a virtual uh, from 18th of May to the 4th of June. But we're very fortunate that our friends at Vintage Wings in Gatineau uh, are giving all Ottawa NCR residents the opportunity to run the runway on uh, Saturday, the 3rd of June. Uh, you have a gala that that's night. coming up the same yes. night. Um, the good news is it's it's sold out. So unfortunately, our viewers won't be able to, to buy tickets. Um, but you have a special guest. Tell me what that celebration is, is going to look like. Yeah, we are very excited for the gala. It's an opportunity to celebrate the first 99 years of the RCAF. And uh, we are very honored to have Colonel Jeremy Hansen, who is uh, the next Canadian who's going to go to the moon, uh, come to join us from Houston as our guest of honor. Um, good news as well as you'll be doing another gala next year right during the centennial exactly so there are a ton of events planned for next year uh, so folks can check out the centennial website www.rcaf2024arc.ca and that's where they'll see all the different events that are happening for centennial and if they keep track of that we'll see when tickets go on sale for the 2024 gala um, another thing that's happening is sort of a, a, a games tournament yeah. idea that, that you guys have put together. Mm -hmm. I believe it's every weekend until July. T tell me about that, what people can expect and, and the inspiration behind that. Yeah, it's uh, called RCF Game Force. And uh, as I mentioned, one of the things we want to do for the centennial is inspire youth to take interest in the air and space community. But in order to inspire them, we have to get reach them, right. engage in them uh, with them. And obviously youth uh, do enjoy uh, gaming. So we have developed this tournament so that we can uh, get youth gaming in the environment where they're at reach them and then inspire them uh, to take interest in air and space in Canada what what inspired you well really telling the stories of all the men and women in the RCF because there are so many stories and we've heard a lot of them but there are many more to tell so I'm looking forward to being able to do that uh, you were telling me that uh, growing up both of your parents were mm -hmm. in the Canadian forces and you're a little torn I guess mm -hmm. right because each of your parents were from different divisions tell me about the tell me a little bit about that story yes uh, so my father was in the army my mom was in the Air Force and uh, when I first joined the military I joined the Army Reserves my my father claimed victory, uh, <laughs> but then when I went to RMC, I obviously joined the Air Force, and so uh, my mom was the ultimate winner. I love it. Um, I'm just going to grab this patch yes. here from you because um, this is really cool too. Mm -hmm. Because this is uh, a another a great local story uh, that the 
This was designed by a local designer, is yes. that right? Yes, uh, Dave O'Malley. We are very fortunate to get in contact with him. He works uh, with Vintage Wings, and uh, he took our Centennial logo, which uh, I'm very grateful that you're wearing that pin on your yes. lapel. I love it. Uh, he took that and made this patch, and uh, that patch is going to be worn by all our CF members uh, from now until the end of 2024. Um, for anybody watching right now, Maggie, and you know they're considering joining the, the mm -hmm. forces or, or you know maybe you're inspiring them, what, what would you tell them uh, about your experience? My experience in the Air Force has been exceptional. All the different people that I've met, the opportunity to live from coast to coast, um, I could not imagine something different and I think that's why I love my job so much and I'm so passionate about it because I want to share all the fabulous stories of the RCAF with all Canadians. What is that, I mean, I imagine your travel has been across Canada. Has it even been beyond? Yes, uh, I got the opportunity to go to Holland, Italy, uh, Australia. I was deployed in the Middle East for six months. Wow. I met my husband in the Air Force. Really? So, uh, yeah, and tons of my friends are Air Force. So it's just, uh, it's my family now. Is there a highlight that, that stands out out of all those experiences for you? I think it would be the deployment to the Middle East. Uh, there was a great group of people. We really came together. We had Christmas. Uh, in the desert and uh, those friendships endure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, remind everybody again, um, uh, the run, is, as I said, it is virtual, but you do have sort of this hybrid happening as well. Give yep. them the details and how they can register on that because registration is open at the moment. Right? Definitely. So folks can go to the Centennial website, uh, www.rcf2024arc.ca, and when they scroll through to events, they'll have the opportunity to register for the run, register for the Game Force uh, tournament, or check out all the uh, different activities and events going on yeah you got you've done such an amazing job putting this together and the good news is there's going to be more of this in the centennial exactly. centennial year uh, coming starting. up next year yeah excellent thank you so much Maggie thank you. really appreciate it and thank you for your service as thank well you very much. Um, again RCAF run you can go to RCA frun.ca again to sign up for that and rcaf2024arc.ca to find out all the information on everything that's planned we'll be back with more right after this